Welcome Rebels. My name is Justin and today's workout is going to be a hit routine. We're going to do a 30 second work with 15 seconds of rest. This is going to be no equipment, all right? So this is just going to be all body weight, all calisthenics type workout. We're going to work various muscle groups. So we're going to start with our upper body. We're going to go to our abs. We're going to do our legs. Uh, and then we're going to do a finisher where we're just going to work for a straight probably minute 15, minute and a half, something like that, just to finish out the entire routine. I've got my uh, clock here in the bottom corner, so you should be able to see that throughout the workout. All right, so let's go ahead and just get started with a warm up. All right, so let's do some jumping jacks. Ready? And go. up to our glutes. I don't want to get too crazy here with this warm up because basically I don't want to interrupt the actual workout. So doing things like high knees, so that's part of the workout. So right now we're just trying to get our heart rate up, just trying to limber up our upper body and our legs. All right, so just throwing your arms out. Now let's put them back out like this, pushing the palms against the backs of the room. Just like that, so come back here to the chest, stretch out your chest, come your top, down to the bottom, and back out again. Keep it dynamic here, don't want to hold anything for too long. Very good. Again, just kind of shake that out. Do some arm circles. Starting a little small, small ovals, making them bigger and bigger. Good. All the way up to the front. And in the direction. Very good, just like that. Making those circles smaller, back to the start. Awesome. All right, let's stretch out our shoulders, just taking the right arm across the body. Again, we're not gonna hold this very long. And other side. Don't hold it very long, just pulling across, waking up that shoulder, your delts. All right, shake that out. Good, let's do some, just some torso twists, so just coming around, looking back. All right, legs just wider than the shoulder width, let's just go down to the floor, bounce a little bit here. All right, let's go a little bit wider. Bounce again in the middle. Go to the right, pull for just a few seconds. Good, back to the middle. Let's go left, pull for just a few seconds. And back to the middle. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and stand up. Again, <clears throat> don't need a lot of warm up here. <clears throat> we're just gonna get right into it. Our first exercise is gonna be push-ups. Then we're gonna do shoulder taps. So just keep that in mind. I'll put the exercise here at the bottom of the screen for you. Um, other than that, just keep an eye on the timer or just listen for the uh, beeps, you know, as they're coming. Again, we're doing 30 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. All right, so we'll go ahead and get our timer going. All right, 10 seconds, get into your push-up position. Again, don't have to count here because all you're doing is time. There you go. Doesn't matter where you place your hands. You can do closed grip, you can do wide grip. Doesn't matter to me. If you want to pause at the top, you can. Coming down slow, up, or you can go fast and pump them out. It's your call, it's your 30 seconds. If you have to go to your knees as a modification, that is perfectly fine. All right, good. All right, 15 seconds of rest, we're gonna do shoulder taps. So you're gonna be in uh, almost a plank position, but you're gonna be extended out, and we're just gonna reach up and tap our shoulders. Okay, turn in this direction for you. 
All right, shoulder taps. Try to keep your body steady as you can. Don't want too much roll. Go as fast or as slow as you want to go here. Again, just work it for 30 seconds. Keep your core tight. All right, next up we're gonna do commandos. All right, so something similar to push-ups, but you come up, down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up, all right? Get ready? All right, down, down, up, up. All right, just like that. And you can alternate this, if you wanna go left side, if you wanna go right, left, left, right. However you wanna do this, Getting down and back up. Very good. Try to keep your back flat. I know it's tough. All right, next up is swim to push up. All right, so we're gonna get into a swimmer, arms out, up. When they come down, you're gonna push up. Ready? So swim, keep your feet up off the floor, push up. Down, swim, back, push up. Swim, push. Very good. All right, next up is a plank toe touch. You guys are familiar with these? Just getting into a plank position, reach back, touch your toes. Not necessarily a plank like this, you're gonna be in an up position. All right, toe touch, go flat. Toe touch, go flat, good. Alternating back and forth. Minimizing roll. Keep your core tight. All right, very good. Next up is alternating rear lunge. So up on your feet, it's an alternating rear lunge. So right leg, then left leg, stepping back into that lunge. I'm gonna face you. And go. Back, alternate. Do what you want with your hands. Whatever you need to do to keep the balance, you can do hands on your hips, out to the side, up in front, doesn't matter to me. Just get that good lunge, control it all the way down, control it all the way up. All right, next up is squats. Fairly simple. You know what these are? Feet just slightly wider than shoulder width. Get ready. And go. Down and up. Begin, do what you want with your hands. Try to keep your back straight. Numbers don't matter. Just working out for 30 seconds is what matters. Next up, alternating curtsy lunge. So we're curtsying this way and then this way, right? Enjoy 30 seconds of your break, 15 seconds of your break. And go. Back up. Feel this in your glutes.
next up, just a cat hop. So stand up on your toes, flexing those calves. Okay, right, I'm gonna turn to the side for you on this one. This one can take the wind from you, okay? And go. Stay on your toes. Come back to you. All right, next up, alternating lateral lunge. All right, so we're going lateral with our lunge. All right, and we're going right, center, left, center. Ready? And go. Right, in the middle, left, back in the middle. Good. Next up, we're working our abs. Got several exercises to focus on our core and our abdominal muscles. Again, try to keep your back straight on this. All right, down to the floor. Like I said, we're doing crunches with a pause. So I want you to pause on the up, all right? Try to keep your feet up off the floor if you can. The modification would be keeping your feet on the floor. All right, this is a good modification. We crunch, up, pause, up, pause. Advanced. And mix it up if you have to. Go advanced and then drop to modification if you have to. That's perfectly fine. Again, just make sure you're working for 30 seconds. All right, staying here on the floor. We're going uh, straight into alternating uh, heel touch. All right, so keep your feet flat on the floor. We're gonna reach up and touch those heels. And go. Touch your heel. Back on the floor, touch. Use your core to bring your upper body up. Next up is twisting crunch, all right? So kind of like a bicycle crunch. I'll turn a little bit this direction for you. Modifications again, feet on the floor versus up in the air. Ready? So this, this, right? Feet on the floor versus this and this. Do the best you can. Just work for 30 seconds. All right, next up we're going to do a reverse crunch. So this time your back is flat on the floor, you're gonna bring your legs up over your body. Okay, so get ready. I'm gonna turn to the side again. Reverse crunch, bring your legs up and slowly back down. Knees to your chest, slowly back down. Next up, we're going to do a leg lift hip thrust. So, bring the same thing, right? We're gonna bring our legs back, push our legs up, all right? Come to the side again, just like this. Put your hands just under your glutes if you can. So up, press. Bring your feet here and press. Again, bring the feet in 
and press up. Very good. All right, next up we're going to do flutter kicks. All right, same position. All right, hands just exactly where they were. Slowly flutter, kick your legs. And go. Keep your core tight. Look up so you can see your toes. All right, keep your shoulders and your head up off the floor. And flutter kick slow. Not too high. Don't let your feet touch the ground. Core tight. Next up, we're still on the ground. We're doing alternating plank knee tucks. All right, so we're in plank. This is like a slow mountain climb, all right? So bring your knee up, other knee up. Try to bring your knee to your alternate hand. All right, left knee to right hand, right knee to left hand. Keep your core tight. as flat as you can. All right. All right, next up, front alternating lunge. All right, so we're still here. Instead of stepping back like we did before, we're gonna step forward. I'll turn to the side. Ready? And go. So once you put your feet together like this, I'm gonna to try to go all the way down to the ground like this and back up. All right, I want you to try to keep your, your hands in contact with your feet at all times. Ready? Down, squat as low as you can, back up. Squat as low as you can, come back up. Back right to the side. Squat as low as you can, Back up. Again, try to keep your hands in contact with your feet as long as you can throughout the exercise. All right, next up is squat walk. So we're just going to be in a squat position and we're gonna just walk around the area, okay? I'm gonna back up a little bit just to give ourselves some room. All right, squat. Walk. Stay in a squatted position. Keep your core tight. You can walk forward, you can walk backward. You can walk to the side. Stay squatted. Keep your knees bent. Next up, skull crush push-ups. All right, 
So these aren't going to look like your typical push up with your hands. You're going to be skull crushing. All right, so just like this, and then up, and down, and up. Ready? This is your down, that's your up. Very good. All right, next up, my favorite and yours, mountain climbers. I'm gonna turn this direction for us. Get ready. And go. Next up, lateral push-ups. You're gonna push, up to the side push, come back to center. Up to the side to push, back to center, All right? Lateral push-ups. Go, off to the side, push up, back to center. Side, push up. Very good. All right, next up, alternating plank row. So we're gonna get in the plank position and we're gonna slowly pull up each arm. All right, I'm gonna go to the side for this one. And your plank position, back is flat and pull up, keeping your balance, other side. Try to keep body roll to a minimum, back flat, core tight. Pretend you have a weight in each hand and you're pulling it to your chest. All right. All right, next up is Superman hold. 30 seconds, Superman hold. Okay, turn to the side. Go ahead and get into position. It's the easy one. And hold, 30 seconds, feet up off the floor, hands off the floor, you're flying through the air. Remember to breathe. Next up, we're gonna do, this is our finisher, all right? So we're gonna go through the beat, work through the beat, okay? 45 seconds of high knees. Go. That's gonna go down to 30. Then it's gonna go down to 15. Work through the beeps. Now take immediately to the floor for Spider-Man push-ups. Keep it up here. This is our finisher. We're almost done. Just doing a quick 20 today. It's a great workout and have a minimal amount of time to get work in. The beep, you're still doing it. Okay, good. We should have 15. Look at us. All right, now five, four, three. Stop, down to the floor. Push up. Spider-Man, push-up. <sighs> Good. 
Keep going. Work through the beat. Awesome. Good job, everybody. That is our workout. Turn that off. Breathe. Good. All right, grab water if you need water. Grab your towel if you need a towel. We're gonna do a quick cool down. So just relax and breathe for a few seconds. Good. All right, if you're not toweling, if you're not grabbing water, come with me right here, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do some breathing before we cool down. So breathe in. And down to the floor. And again. And out. And in. And out. One more time. All right. Put your towel down. Put your water down. Let's just cool down for just a second. So let's get some washing machines in. Pull some twist. All right, good. We worked our chest pretty good. Let's flex that out. Back to the middle. Flex it out. Back to the middle. And flex it out. And feet wider than the shoulder width. Do some arm circles. So let your arm hang, let gravity do its thing here. Change direction. And put your other arm in. And change direction. All right, back up. Good. All right, again, let's go ahead and stretch our tricep. So grab a hold of your elbow here, your arm, your hand on your shoulder blade, and just flex that muscle. Stretch out that tricep. Good. Same thing, other side. Grab it and pull. Stretch that tricep out. Good. Release, relax. Let's take your right arm across your body. All right, stretch out that shoulder. Gonna hold it a few seconds longer than we did earlier in the workout. Good. Shake it out. Other side. Good, shake that out. Very good. All right, Rebels, again, quick workout today. This is a good 20 minute hip routine that you can just come in, put on, work out, cool down, and be done. All right, thank you for joining me. We'll see you in the next video.